okay so now from this video onwards you will start adding mobile inputs so for that first of all you will be needing this joystick pack this is the created name this is actually a free asset on the unity asset store so add this to your assets and then click on open in unity then open unity editor and you will find this in the package manager open automatically then simply download it and then click on this import okay let's import this whole thing okay after importing you will notice it right here in the prefabs there are many joysticks as you can see we need this fixed joystick first of all let's change back to simulator let's add this okay here it is the joystick let's click on prefab unpack completely and let's rename this to player joystick let's go inside the sprites okay click on this player joystick let's drag and drop this controller in there controller sprite and then on the handle let's drag and drop this circle in there that's it so we have the joystick right there now in order to make this work for now if you play the game you will notice that it will not work as you can see so we don't want that we want this to be working okay whenever we move it up and to the left and right we want the player to rotate and move forward and backwards so for that let's click on our player script here it is right here at the top let's create a public bool and let's name this mobile and then inputs okay and then down below we will say public fixed since we have added the fixed joystick so we need a reference to that as well so we will say public fixed joystick and let's name this as joy stick okay now let's get down right here okay let's just cut all of this and first of all we will say that if the mobile inputs is turned on okay then what we want to do we want to play the game on the joystick else what we will do we will paste that code in in here okay like this and let me move this right there okay now if the mobile inputs aren't turned on then what we want to do we will basically do the same as we did right here actually i have a copy of it so let's just copy and paste it again right here and let's move it forward and the only thing we will have, we need to change in this code is right here instead of this input get axis remove that right here we will type joystick dot not g it's horizontal and then right here you will say joystick dot vertical that's it and guys since we are using the joystick right here make sure that you add this as well using unity engine actually it is i think let's just leave it and change this s right here to small s okay fixed joystick the s should be small or else it will give you an error just save that script and get back right here click on the player as you know on the player it needs this joystick so just drag and drop it and if you click on player joystick as you can see the fixed joystick script is already added and we have when we drag and drop the fixed joystick in right here in the player ui okay now 
what we need to do is actually click on player and turn on the mobile inputs it means that yes we are on the mobile phone now okay so now if we move this as you can see we are moving wherever we point our joystick but our player also shoot as well as you can see we don't want that okay actually if we change into game view now let's play it you will notice that first of all let's go to the player script and right here need this code comment we don't want to lock our cursor when we play the game now in the game view let's play the game you will notice that when you when we move as you can see it moves our camera as well we don't want that we want the camera movement to be moved from the touch okay so when the user touch right here on the screen then we want to rotate our camera we don't want to rotate our camera on this okay so if you notice it right here when we try to move this as you can see our camera rotate but this is due to the same machine okay we don't want to move our camera and also we don't want to shoot when we click on the screen we want to have a separate shoot button right here on side okay and the only the other thing if you notice that now our mobile inputs is working and the keyboard inputs are not working not turn this off now as you can see it again the mobile inputs are now turned off and the PC inputs is working again as you can see so this works as well now we want to add the functionality so that when we touch on the screen we want to rotate our camera then but before that we will have to add the other buttons for sprinting and from for the shooting aiming and jumping okay first of all we will add that and then in the final video we will do the camera movement thing okay so with this done catch you guys in the next one